Hello and welcome to Crank Your Damn Just to Eleven. Uh, what I want to talk about tonight are our plastic sheds. Uh, we have four sheds on our property. Two sheds that are really big sheds that we can stand in. And that we put uh, mowers or other equipment in. They're, they're pretty big. And when we have two smaller plastic sheds in which we put the trash or the gas um, we don't want any of that in the house or even in the garage and so we use those two sheds for that um, I can show you the trash shed that I bought it's this this shed is a suncast 70 cubic feet stowaway horizontal trash can shed and you have the model number there that price, in my mind, is outrageous. I paid less than half that price. It was in 2017, in the summer of 2017, that I did buy the, the, the shed. This is way too expensive. I'm satisfied with the shed, but I think if I had seen it at this price, I would have said, no, sir. So I invite you, you know, I'm giving you the, the Walmart reference because that's where I got it. I invite you to uh, shop for it. I know it can be had for less than that price. Um, and I'm very satisfied with that shed. I can show you a, um, a movie that I took today of the shed uh, in operation where I was going to uh, pull out the trash can from the shed and uh, to, to get it to the street. So you have a little latch at the bottom that you have to open uh, to raise to open the door and then you can take your trash out. And then you close the door and you have to make sure that the latch is well closed and you can close the lid back. And we don't have any problems uh, with that shed in terms of smell for instance or the bugs can get in it. Uh, the frogs do get in the shed. I didn't put a picture of a uh, what I call the trash frogs, but the frogs do get into the shed. Uh, the bugs are also also going to get into it. Um, we we've had to clean out the trash can from time to time in the summer, uh, but we haven't had any problems with uh, you know big pests getting in or with the smells coming out. Um, before we had the shed, I really don't remember what we were doing with the trash. I guess we were putting it in the garage, but that was annoying. Um, and uh, it didn't always work very well, and it was taking space in the garage that could be used for something else. So I bought that shed so that we would be able to free that space up. And the people who lived there, I don't understand it. I mean, I looked around. There's no, there was no pad on the ground for a previous shed. There was nothing. There was no sign of any sheds whatsoever. And we have four sheds. We need four sheds uh, to be able to live here. I don't, I don't understand how the people who lived here were able to live here without sheds. Um, and I said we also have the gas shed because I don't want the gas in, in the garage. And I'm not going to show you what it looks like. It's a plastic gas shed and you should just go out and look for whatever you want. Um, I don't want the, the gas in the garage because, uh, well, first of all, if you look on the internet, any kind of safety uh, advice, they're going to say don't don't do that. And um, I also know that I could have an explosion in the garage if the, if the gas is in there. You know, if you have just the gas and you ha and you do nothing else in your garage and you never use any tools or anything that can create a spark, I guess you're fine. But I I don't trust uh, my setup. I'm I'm going to make sparks and all kinds of things in my garage, and I want the, the gas to be outside in a separate shed it's locked uh, so nobody can just come and steal it so i'm gonna put the link in the description of the video and you can follow it and and shop for for sheds i i highly recommend having a trash shed if you live outside the city if you live in, we're in a semi-rural area 
I recommend that. And also uh, to have a, a gas shed to take the gas out of the house and out of the garage so that you don't blow yourself up. Uh, so I'll see you next episode.